Oh yeah! Welcome back guys, this is Tauntaun777 here with a Blender tutorial. Um, we are going to go ahead and show you guys how to add a skin to your Minecraft uh, animated character so you can make thumbnails or whatever you want with them. Um, there's multiple ways to do this apparently. Um, it's, a, uh, it's, it's just interesting because I was doing this with 2.7 and now I can't open up 2.7. So it's just, it's a pain in the butt right now and I don't know why, but anyways. Uh, I have the latest version here, 2.76. So basically, what you do is you open it up, you delete the uh, the cape here. Basically, all you do is right-click on the cape, press X, and then delete it, and it's a gone. It's a bye-bye. Now you see, oh, it's all blurry, all the deep sadness, sadness. They say sadness. Uh, according to the developer, the way to fix that is come here, go to User Preferences, go to System, Uncheck Mini Maps, and then press Save User Settings press it again and then oh my goodness look at that look at that it crystal clear now hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord so what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on the uh, skin part of them as you can see that's kind of outlined in green there uh, the way i usually do it and we're going to see if it works if it doesn't i know the back row but typically what i've done is i go up here i press uv image editor i go down here i select uh, the char png i go to image it's not gonna let me do it um yeah so typically you'd go in here and you'd press replace image and then you would select an image and do it but it won't let me do it for some reason i don't know why i've put in a note to the uh developer to figure out why that's happening anyways if that doesn't work then you can come up here uh, go back to properties you go over here to this plane area as you can see here you got like all this here come down to this area where you see the char PNG now this is for a uh, Macintosh if you're using a Windows it'll probably be under this part and it'll probably be labeled uh, surface and it'll be somewhere down here I believe but with my Mac version I guess they put it over here to make it easier I don't know I honestly don't know so anyways you'll come up here to this button you'll press it and you tell it to write the file to current directory uh, what this will do is just save it to wherever you have this project file at and that'll be you know beneficial to everybody and then once you do that you come in here and you, you press that button again to find an image uh, i don't know where yours will be i honestly don't know mine's in this folder of skins i'll select it and i'll press open image now as you can tell i don't know if this is just a mac thing or what but it doesn't change my character skin right away but if we come up here to if we go down here and we select rendered yeah as you can see obviously my skin's there but for some reason when it's in the textured form it's not going to show it as that so no worries there if that's your problem but you did notice when we did that it's like oh my goodness he's all over the place well that's because it's originally set for a 1.7 skin so in order to change that we have to come over here right right no you go over here to this triangle, little dotty places there, and you see here where it says old skin. Well, that's what it is on right now, but if we come up here to 1.8 skin and make sure that the camera is up here selected, your body skin will be back to normal, but you're up here like, on, like, oh, my face, oh, my face. Well, calm down. Um, if we just select the face there, you can see there again. Just come up here, make sure that the camera is selected, and there you go. Now, if your character has, uh, and yeah, this will happen too. I, I don't know why it does that, but just know that your skin will be fine. It's on there. It's just for some reason, I don't know why. Again, I've talk, I'm, I'm talking with the uh, developer right now to figure out what the heck's going on. But uh, anyways, if you have a hat, make sure you go over to design, make it go down here, change it from object mode to poise mode. Poise mode. Go over here to hat, raise it all the way up, and click, right click to drag it all the way up, and then find the one that's, if you have a second layer, you go over here and you drag that out, and you'll see these little green outlines pop up. 
You don't have to change the second layer because that's exclusively 1.8. But if you the hat you do need to change from one point from the old one point to this and make sure the camera selected. Now when you go into the rendered part, I don't know if this is again a Mac thing, but you won't see the ear thing like what's usually on my stuff. But if you go back to textured uh, view just view camera. Uh, da -da -da -da. Give me a second. Let me move the camera a little bit. Let me just kind of like that and then just move it over. That didn't work. Oh well. Uh, see, this is why I like being inside of the camera. This way we can actually tell what the frick's going on. Okay. Then you just go up here to render, render image. There's my ears. Obviously my ears are there. So we have no problems there. But now you're looking at going like, oh, I don't like the eyes and I don't like the eyebrows. It's like, eh, ugly. It's like, okay, calm down. It's okay. We got this. Again, select the head part. Come back over here to the little ball thing. And you see here where it says eyebrows, mouth, teeth, eyes. You select the eyes. Come over here to the color wheel. Change it to whatever color you want. You can change how bright or how dark it is. So I'm going to probably have something like that. Maybe a little bit, bit of a dark blue there. And then your eyebrows is the same thing. I Mine, I try to match to what my mask is. So that's completely black. You can change color of your teeth and your mouth. But let's not get too crazy here. Let's just see how well we did with that. So we go over here and do rendered. And there you go. You have different colored eyes. Your eyebrows are now different colors. You can manipulate those however you wish. If you refer to the past tutorial, it should say that. If it doesn't, I'll make another one. Just let me know. And that's pretty much how that works out, guys. Uh, so yeah, now you have a character that you can make for your thumbnails and everything. And again, I apologize for the messiness of how this person looks. And again, I don't know why it's doing that. And uh, I'm asking the developer of the rig why it's happening and why it's being such dumbness to me. But it's it works. You can tell it works. And it'll render out normally. So as long as the end product's the same, I think we're good. So guys, I hope this is uh, informational for you and you can use it with your videos or whatnot and have some fun with that. Uh, comment below if you want more tutorials on Blender and I'll focus more on that than anything else. And uh, I'll put out some more videos like that. So until next time, this is Tauntaun777 and I am out.